What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's yours truly Fit City, and as promised, we're gonna go over the second biggest thing for PvP. And what would that be? What Pokemon you should use in each league. And I have a good stat sheet here, thanks to FLW videos. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, he's got over 50,000 subscribers. Link will be in the description down below, check him out. He's very good for informational things about Pokemon Go and keeping you guys informed and also giving you tips and tricks as well. Now, going off this, this is a stat sheet, and you can type in the actual IVs and get the current level and what CP they'll come out to be. Well, a lot of questions people have been asking is, can you use higher tiered Pokemon in the lower leagues? The answer to that is yes and no. Uh, and I'm gonna give you guys a good example of this. So if you follow with me with the cursor here, we got Waylord right here. If we go all the way around, we have 15, 15, 15 for the stats, at level 40, it's 2280, and then the attack is 150, the defense is 180, and the HP is 286. Okay, that's fine. Now, if we scroll down to Suicune, Suicune's down here at the bottom. If we go over, we got 15, 15, 15. At level 29, it comes to be 2472. The attack is 140, not as high as Waylord's. Waylord's was 150. The defense is 179, that's almost 100 more. But the stamina is 172, that's almost what? Is that almost 200 less? Let's go ahead and take a look, scroll over, 286, so it's about, it's about 100 less. So, will Waylord be better than Suicune? You could argue yes, because the stamina is absolutely ridiculous, even though it's got 100 less defense, but it does have 10 more attack. So, I hope this is showing you guys a prime example of Higher Pokemon aren't necessarily going to be the best if you lower them in levels for the next league. This is a good example. Now, also, let's go ahead and do, I have Lugia and Hypno right next to each other. Two Psychic types. Uh, obviously, Hypno is not used very much, but if we go look at the stats here, for the Great League, we got Hypno at 1493, and we got Lugia at 1481, with their stats being 100%. Lugia has to be level 14. Hypno can be level 25. There's already a huge difference there. At level 14, Lugia has 103 attack, 162 defense, 124 HP. But Hypno comes in with 3 more attack. It's got less d defense because obviously Lugia is a tank, but it does make up for it in the HP area. So not only will it do a little bit more damage, it, uh, it, it about evens out, I would say, arguably. Um, in stats overall, like who would survive, basically open our eyes to saying, hey, Hypno, because it maxes out at a lower CP, means it's going to be higher in the lower levels. Now, this means other Pokemon as well that are like that, it's the same thing. Like, any Pokemon that maxes out at a lower CP will have a higher level and higher stats than the Pokemon that max out at a higher speed when you bring them down to the Great League. The higher the CP, so this is a rule of thumb that you can definitely go by, the higher the CP, the less likely they should be used in either the Ultra or the Great League. Because Pokemon with lower CP are going to have the higher stats because they're already maxed out at a lower CP. Again, same thing goes with Hypno. Look, level 25. And the thing is, is we can play with these stats. Let's go ahead and give Hypno... Um, let's, let's mess with the stamina stat. Let's go ahead and give it an 8. So if we give it an 8, it goes down to 1468. Let's go ahead and hit it with an 8 here. It goes down to 1443. Now we can level it up probably one more time. Ooh, 26. So let's go ahead and give it a 12 attack. It's down to 1472. Let's hit it with another level, 27. Barely puts us over. So let, here, let's do a test. Let's do 1, 1, 1. At level 27, gives us 1372. Pretty bad IVs, right? So let's hit it with a level 30. Little, it's too high, 1525, so let's do 29. So at 29, at 111, it has an attack stat of only one extra, 139, I do believe that's lower, but the uh, stamina stat stays about the same. So you can manipulate the IVs though, as you can see, and increase the level. Now in some cases this actually bodes true to be even better. Um, if I can find Miss Magius here, it is a prime example of that. So if we look at Miss Magius here, which has a 15, 15, 15 at level 40, it has a CP of 26, 15. So let's actually go ahead and lower that level to 38. 
Brings us to 2541. We'll lower that one more time to 37. Should get us close? Close. So actually what we're going to do is let's go ahead and lower its attack stat down to 10. That puts us at 2448, so we can probably level up one more time. Beautiful. 38. So 172 attack, 157 defense, 132 HP. Now let's go compare to Gengar. Lower its IVs and its CP and see what happens. So Gengar... We put 15, 15, 15 at level 30, comes in at 24, 67, 201 attack, 119 defense, 124 HP. But if we lower the attack stat, let's say down to 1, we could power it up even more. Level 32, level 33, level 34, puts us 2498. So it has an attack stat of 197, but because it has 15 IVs in the other two stats, 123, 128, it went up. So it has an attack of 197. 123, 128. So let's go back up to Miss Mages and let's compare because that's bringing Gengar down to the Ultra League. Well, does it belong in there? I don't know. There's Miss Mages. Okay, so the attack stat is definitely down. But the defensive stat and the HP stat are both considerably higher um, because Gengar was the defense was like the 120s and the HP stat was pretty bad as well. Now the thing is, is you can manipulate this even more. If we want a higher attack, let's go ahead and do that. Defense is what Miss Magius really had over Gengar, so if we give that a 5, that means we can power this up again from 38 to 39. Actually, let's go ahead and hit the stamina stat as well. Let's give that a little bit of a nerf because it also excels in the stamina stat as well. And boom, right then there, we can add a point of attack onto there. The highest attack you can get is 178. So if we were to actually go ahead and give it a zero defense, we could power this up one more time, giving it that 178 at 2501 pretty close. So basically what I'm saying is, is Miss Magius better than Gengar in the Ultra League? And the answer is yes. Gengar will, will shred. It has a pretty good attack stat. Miss Magius isn't that far behind. But Miss Magius has a way better defensive stamina stat, meaning it's going to last longer. And Miss Magius does have access to Shadow Ball, so it's going to do some pretty good damage. Um, again, long story short, just to actually sum it up, you want to be cautious of how you're spinning your Stardust and your Candy. Thinking that Pokemon that are really high in CP are better in the two lower leagues. For example, if you think Gengar is going to be the best in Ultra and Great League, you're sadly mistaken because the stat difference of dumbing it down to the levels in which it can be used really does nerf their stats quite greatly. So my advice to you is use Pokemon that are close to that CP level cap. Lugia was kind of an exception because it has really high stats. If a Pokemon has extremely high stats like Mewtwo, 300 attack, Lugia, over 300 defense, uh, or like Blissey with over was it 500 HP those are kind of some outliers that actually fit in pretty well in the lower leagues but that doesn't mean they're gonna perform well in the lower leagues so using Pokemon around the CP limits whether it's a little bit above a little bit below or right around it anywhere in that area are gonna be some of the best Pokemon you can use to have the stats to be able to survive in battle. Now, of course, you have to worry about type coverage, so that plays a whole nother role. If you haven't seen that video, that link will be in the description. Type coverage is the number one thing you should worry about in PvP, but this is the next thing. Thinking that your level 15 Raikou that you got out of your research box, that's like 1492 CP, is going to be good in Great League, you're sadly mistaken. It's actually gonna be terrible. Luxio seems to be the best Pokemon, electric Pokemon, to use in Great League. It maxes out at around 1487, I do believe, and it has stats in the 150s almost all the way across the board. So that goes to show you that those Pokemon that max out near 1500 are going to be better than your Raikou or your Zapdos or any really high level electric types that you use below 1500. Hope that makes sense. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section down below. I'd be glad to talk to you guys. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, be a part of the Fit City fam. I'm a writer and editor for the Pokemon Go Hub. I saw we got some new subscribers, so I definitely appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. That's your boy Fitzy. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.